how can music be a universal language? And what does it mean when people say that? What is universal anyhow among the rich diversity of our many cultures? Language and music define humanity. We don't do anything else better than all other species. We don't run faster. We don't smell better. We don't fly or swim better. We don't climb higher. We're a pretty pathetic species on the whole. <laughs> the one thing that we do, our unique language and music capabilities, fascinated me ever since my doctoral studies in cognitive science and AI at Berkeley. And when I first came to Hong Kong years ago, together with a couple hundred other amazing American research university researchers, we came with a dream. It was a dream to help build a new generation of the interconnected, internationalized societies here in Asia, a corner of the world from which so many cultures have spread over the ages, from Yunnan down to the Southeast Asians and the Polynesians all over the Pacific, from the Indus River, both south and north, from the Tibetans to the Mongolians all the way into northern Europe, along the Silk Route, where the Roma or the Gypsies picked up influences all the way, both through the north and the south of the Mediterranean to the westernmost reaches of Europe. In my own life, from early childhood, I've been fortunate to have lived and traveled in many parts of the world. And it was seeing the enormous gaps in perception and understanding in expectations and conventions that probably accounts for my deep interest in the things that are universal to humanity, what we all share in common as humans, despite our many rich and diverse tongues, cultures, and heritages. And what makes humans unique is our ability to learn and enjoy the relationships between languages. Spoken, musical, visual, gestural, abstract, to learn the relationships. We're able to do this no matter what our cultural background is. It gives us the ability to relate to others. Spoken languages, though, can create barriers between cultures. They often prevent you from learning about and relating to all the fascinating things about other cultures. And that was what inspired me way back to create the world's first automatic translation services in the early days of the web. The way I did that was by developing what was kind of radical new AI that could learn the complex relationships between languages, say, Chinese and English. And I am happy that that paradigm shift has done good for human society around the world, I think, by improving people's ability to communicate across cultures and to relate to each other. Unfortunately, as you no doubt know, to use these translation services today still requires quite a bit of effort, despite our ongoing daily struggles to improve that technology. Even for the simplest things that young children learn the earliest, you can see that the technology doesn't yet learn the relationships between languages properly. And that's why one of our efforts at reorientate.org is to let anyone who feels like it, put their own language on the map. Because this is where interesting relationships emerge. The more languages folks from all over contribute, the more relationships we can build. Meanwhile, of course, you can always learn the other languages yourself the old-fashioned way. And this is incredibly worthwhile. But it does require you a lot of effort. So if you're someone who's interested in helping cultures to relate to each other, this is where the multilinguality of music matters. We're all multilinguals, because all of us speak not only our mother tongues, but also musical languages. That there's so much universality in music isn't surprising. After all, languages evolved with music. Our prehistoric ancestors were singing before they were talking. Animal songs were the evolutionary precursor of language. The same neurobiological components process music and language. And it's out of the evolutionary refinement of language that intelligence evolved. Language lets us think abstract thoughts. And those thoughts 
let us create new languages with which we can think even more complex thoughts. Language structures thought. So, how many languages are there in music? Well, we have lyrics. Free yourself, make a difference. Now, you can tell that these are sequences of words. And as we just saw, the problem is that English lyrics don't necessarily cross cultures. What saves us is that the words can be things other than spoken syllables. For example, sign languages use gestures. There's sign language all over music. Conducting. What does this say to you? You can actually hear something inside yourself if you listen closely, right? You're translating Rupert's sign language into your own musical language. You're relating to his language. That's Rupert on an ordinary day. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a lot like dancing. And there are lots of other languages in music as well. Like, for example, rhythm. Rhythm, the language of percussive hits. The nice thing here is that we all share the same vocabulary, no matter what our cultural background was. Even if you didn't know them before, it's easy to pick up words like or. Sharing the vocabulary is already a big improvement on spoken languages. And you might think that some simple phrases are also going to mean pretty much the same thing in any culture. That's a simple 3-4 meter. Meters, by the way, are sequences of pulse groups. However, even here, we don't necessarily share the same language. What does this say to you? How many of you have switched back to hearing boom, cha, cha, boom, cha, cha, instead of cha, cha, boom, cha, cha, boom? How many? How you hear the same thing depends on your own cultural conventions. Just like many sentences have different interpretations to different people, with various possible implications, assumptions, connotations, they depend on your own background. And we can likewise express things with multiple meanings in musical languages. So then the question is, how do we get each other onto the same page? In music, we have these things called polyrhythms, cross-rhythms, polymeter. Suppose you have this flamenco rhythm. Using cross-rhythm, we could layer this flamenco rhythm on your frame of reference. So that's one way that you could hear it. But now let's say that I take away that frame of reference and instead... This 6-8 frame of reference gives what I'm saying a completely different meaning. Which way you hear it naturally depends on your cultural frame of reference, on how you're translating my rhythm into your musical language. And the wonderful thing about music, and language in general, is that as long as you have some frame of reference, it's the surprise, the unexpected, the unfamiliar, that give your conversation spice. Now, cross rhythms are asymmetric. 
there's one of the rhythms that remains dominant. We call it the main beat. And that's kind of like saying only one of our cultures is a dominant one, which is sort of ethnocentric. It doesn't exactly help cultures to relate to each other as equals. To be more balanced, maybe we could alternate between both frames of reference. This is alternating which language you're thinking in when you interpret Chinglish. Code mixing like this is great, but the thing is, if you mix a lot of languages, you lose a lot of people. So let's try something else. Here's a 4-4 frame of reference that's widespread throughout South and Southeast Asia, Central Asia, the Mediterranean, Africa, Latin America. Now, if you're from or familiar with any one of those cultures, then maybe here's how you heard that rhythm that I've been playing. Where's your frame of reference? Wave your hands, tap your fingers, show us, show us where your frame of reference is. All right, that's fantastic. See how you're all using different frames of reference? Each of you is finding a groove, but depending on which groove, you're enjoying a different spice of surprise, unexpected, unfamiliar by translating it to your native groove, by relating it. And that symmetric, multicultural conversation is what it's all about. In Reorientate, we're seeing how far we can push the boundaries of this technique in music. While in the lab, we're pushing on developing new cognitive models of how such relationships are recognized and learned. Psychologists, Call it cognitive illusion. Maybe you've seen things like this. This Necker cube has more than one possible view. You could look at it this way, or you could look at it this way. Both are equally valid. Or maybe you've seen this. Is it a vase, or is it two people looking at each other? These ambiguous illusions are multi-stable because there's more than one equally stable, valid interpretation depending on your frame of reference. And what you just heard us playing are auditory musical illusions. There's more than one culturally valid frame of reference for the same musical sentence. Here's another illusion. You see the small circle? Do you see a big circle? How about now? It's actually kind of nicer with the border missing, right? It's a little bit more spicy. This kind of cognitive illusion is called a fiction because your frame of reference is making you perceive something that's not actually there. So instead of playing, we can play this. And for more spice, we can add further imperfections which, strangely enough, somehow often draws us even more strongly into the groove. In language of rhythm, this is called syncopation, of course, and it gives even more room to create multi-stable illusions. We play with all sorts of multicultural musical illusions in Reorientate. Melody languages use sequences of notes. What does this say to you? Yeah. 
Okay? And now, what does this say to you? Which way you hear this depends on your frame of reference. The Chinese pentatonic scale and the blues scale is almost the same thing. What you hear depends on what I use to change your frame of reference. We have languages of chords, languages of repetitions, languages of lines, of stanzas, of verses. We have languages of dynamics, and on and on. The shared vocabulary in musical language gives us a fertile common ground. It's a common ground upon which we can plant complex yet balanced conversations across cultures using different musical frames of reference to relate to each other. Multilingual, multi-musical songs. And this is crazy great because music traditions from the Asian diaspora that Reorientate is playing with have all sorts of complex rhythms and meters and scales and textures. Instead of using language to create barriers, we can use the multilinguality of music. We can use our musical languages to create bridges and relationships, to mutually conduct each other, like this. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey, 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 hey. You can do better than that. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. All right. So now, remember, you're going to wave your hands, tap your fingers, your feet, show us where your frame of reference is. Yeah? circles, including academia, there are some who get lost playing games that, whose rules were defined in arbitrary frames of reference. Get the top grades, the highest scores, the highest income, right? And then there are those who instead work to define more meaningful games, those worth playing, those with impact. Learn and teach each other the most useful things, regardless of scores. Reach across cultures. See and hear, translate, and relate to each other's frames of reference. You can make a difference if you find your voice. Show us your frame of reference. You know, the word translate, the word translate in the original Latin means to carry across. Find your own concrete ways to carry across our many cultures. Relate 
in Latin means to bring back. Find your ways to bring our many cultures back together. Reorientate your frames of reference. Instead of discord, we can have colorful harmonies. Instead of dominant frames, we can have a rich diversity of polyrhythms, spicy yet synchronized. Thank you. Thank you.